And you are getting that opportunity. You're traveling and speaking and uh, motivating uh, people. You're yeah. a motivational speaker. Yeah. Is there an instance that sticks out in your mind where you've been able to really uh, change somebody's perspective and trajectory for their life? Yeah, there is. I mean, just through social media, I get a lot of uh, content and a lot of people will comment on things. But usually, you know, quite often people will message me and tell me about, hey, I have a son or I have a cousin or they know somebody who's in a wheelchair or just got paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones I reach out to because they start telling me their stories. And it's like, those bring me back to when I was 26 years old. I mean, when they go home, like I said, you, I didn't know anything about a wheelchair besides when you're walking around the city, if you see someone in a wheelchair, for me, I was like, you know, oh, well that sucks they can't walk, or I didn't know what to think. Mm -hmm. And then when it happened to me, it's a total different ball game. I mean, there's so much more that people just can't see. And the challenges are, nice. that no one, you can't prepare yourself for that. It's just, it's so hard. And so now when people call me up, I like, all right, so tell me about your son. And they kind of, you know, tell me the injury, like what they're going through, and I try to give them my advice, things that have helped me. And it's like, the hard part is when I got paralyzed, the last thing that I wanted to do was talk to somebody in a wheelchair hmm. because that wasn't me. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. I didn't want to relate to them. Mm -hmm. So that's really hard too. So I know now some people are different. Some people kind of adapt to it quicker, but I think I don't want to be that person to like, hey, like, let me help you do this because I'm sure in the back of their mind they're thinking, you know, why is this guy in a wheelchair trying to come right. hang out with me? Right. Because this isn't my reality, it's his. I mean, yeah. they're kind of in that moment. But right? it's fun. Like, yeah, because when I got paralyzed, they were like, hey, you should come meet these people over here. And you look at them, they're all in wheelchairs. I'm like, why are you guys trying to make me hang out with people in wheelchairs? Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but mm -hmm. like, if we were all able bodied, I wouldn't hang out with these guys. Like, now that we're all in wheelchairs, it's like we're our own group. And it's really mm -hmm. hard to, you know, come out of that group, I guess. I mean, because. Right. For my friends and people I know, it's like you get around them and they kind of walk on eggshells. Not anymore. Like my friends are, they treat me like I'm able-bodied all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. it's and I love it because I it pushes me and it allows me to do something. If yeah. I need help, they'll help me. But for the most part, um, people when you're in a wheelchair, they they don't well because the awareness of it is not out there. You don't right. know what someone needs. You don't know what they need help with, and you right. just. And you don't want to offend or no. hurt anybody's feelings. Right. And what do you wish people did differently when they did see you on the street? Or you know, what educational tool could you give people about how to be more um, mindful and knowledgeable? Well, you know, it's, such, it's a hard subject because some people in wheelchairs, they expect it. Like if you, they want you to open the door for them. They want you to do this. Other people want to be independent again, so they want mm -hmm. to do that themselves. And I think it's, you just really have to play on the person you see. I think. For me personally, I would want to say, you know, what, say hi to me if you're going to, otherwise don't. But it's funny, like when I go down a grocery store aisle or something, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be wheeling down the aisle and a family will be sitting there and mom will, or the mom will be like, get back kids, you know, like clear out of the way. <laughs> you know, it's like, like I'm a bomb or something right. like that. You know, they're all backing against the wall, but right. they don't know. It's like, or it's funny, like if I'm waiting in line, you know, people are like, oh, here, have my spot. But it's like, you know, I can wait in line just like everyone else. And right. so I guess it's kind of treated like anyone else, but also you don't want to expect them that they don't need help. So I mean, like the best thing is ask, 